Hello. My name is Matthew Moll. I'm hanging out at a park down the road from where I grew up. I'm going to show you how to play my song, I'm With You. I actually play this song on a few different kinds of guitars, but one of them is an acoustic guitar, so I'll show you how I play that. There's also a ukulele part that I'll show you. I've got my ukulele here. And there's an electric guitar part, but I'm just going to show you how to play that on this acoustic guitar. I hope that's okay. I'll put a link in the description so that you can download the chord sheet for the song if you want to follow along. So let's start with the acoustic guitar part. The song is in the key of A major, I think. So to play the main acoustic guitar part, you're going to need to get a capo. Get yourself one of these bad boys and put that on capo two. So it's pretty simple. We're gonna be playing two strings most of the time for this main picking part. So there's the G, there's a G over B, and here's the C, and here's the D, and sometimes there's even an E minor, which is here. Sometimes we'll play it like this. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the root note, which is the E string, and I'm playing the G string. <laughs> it's just moved past that. Um, so I'm playing the G string open. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to say G string. So this is how the first shape goes then. We'll just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Like that. Tell me where you go, then G over B. The place where you hide, then C. The less that you know, then D. The more that you're mine, all that I am. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the pre-chorus and then the chords change very slightly. And I'll be there and I won't turn away. Do it again. In the lion's den, I'll never let you be. And then we go back to the D, afraid. And that's the verse. That's the whole verse. Okay, let's go to the first chorus. So here we're going to play full-on chords rather than just one string at a time like we were doing in the verse. The chords I'm playing in the chorus now are C, and there's a G, a D, and there's also an E minor that I'm playing like this. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let those ring nicely. I'm with you. I'm with you. And now we'll start picking again, back to those other shapes. When you know my song and your broken heart and your hope is gone, I'll be holding on again. I'm with you, I'm with you. That's the first verse, first chorus, and verse two, because it's the same as verse one. So now we go to my favorite part of the whole song, which is the strumming part. It's always fun to play a strumming part. So we'll start with the C, it goes like this. G, D, that's how I play the D. Again, C, G, D. And the drum comes in there. And then I'm gonna start singing and then the chords change up slightly so it goes, take my heart. C, hold D, E minor. O, and then D, I, C, want. And then again, D, I, E minor, M, no, G, D, no, G, C, and G. Cause when you know me in the dark, now I'm better than I've ever been. To D. Yeah. And then back to the chorus. I'm with you, I'm with you. And then the chorus is the same as all the other ones. Okay, let's move on to the electric guitar part. But for the electric guitar part, you're gonna need a capo again, but this time you're playing it with your capo on fret number five. The electric guitar part only comes in from that awesome instrumental part, and it's pretty much the same as what you did on the acoustic guitar, but now we're just gonna be playing different chord shapes. They're all like bar chord shapes. I think that's a thing. Is that what you call them? Bar chords like this? So the first one is an A, then an E, and then a B. In a little while, we'll throw in a C-sharp minor, which is a lot easier to play on an electric guitar than, or a guitar that's got a cutaway thing here. Take my heart, hold B, C-sharp minor. My hand, all I want, all I Back. No, E, B, no. 
A. Pens. E. When you know me in the dark, no I'm better than a baby. And then to the B. B. That's where the electric guitar ends, and then we go back to the acoustic guitar part, which you already know, right? Okay, Mr. Ukulele. There are just two different shapes that you'll play. I don't even know what the chords are, but it's tuned to standard tuning for a ukulele, which is G, C, E, and A. Take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of this first, it's the G string. That's shape one. Shape two, just move your finger one fret that way. So that's the first fret. The picking pattern is also pretty simple. You'll just play with your thumb on the G string. Uh, thumb on the G, on the, that string. There's one closest to your face. This thing's out of tune. Your index pointing finger on the E string. You'll play your thumb again on the G string and then your middle finger on that A string. And then it just sounds like this. And then all we need to do is just switch between shape one and shape two every now and then. Tell me where you go, shape two. The place where you hide, back to shape one. The less that you know, shape two. The more that you're mine. All that I am, the words that I say. If you want to get someone else to play it with you, give them the acoustic guitar, and then you play the ukulele part, and then when you both play it together, it'll sound quite nice. So, go and download that chord sheet, go and practice, play the song, Take a video of yourself playing the song, maybe send it to me so that I can see. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and maybe like it. Seriously though, it would mean a lot if you did subscribe because I post lots of videos like this, lots of these how to play videos. So if you do know any of my other songs, any of them, tell me which ones in the comments. Go practice, go play it and send me your videos.